Whether it's fresh produce or your favorite perfume, you could be storing everyday items all wrong. And those mistakes might be costing you a pretty penny. So here are some ways to fix that. Take a look around your home and lifestyle blogger Lauren McBride says you're likely to find at least a few items you're storing incorrectly. It's important people store things correctly because not only are you getting the most out of the product that you bought, but it's also budget friendly. The first item most of us are storing wrong? Bananas. Instead of just setting them out when you get home from the grocery store, separate them and tie saran wrap on the ends and it helps them stay fresh longer. The second item most of us are storing wrong? Avocados. Okay. They should be kept at room temperature until ripe, but then... Put them in a plastic bag in the fridge for three to five days, and that will help them last longer. If you slice one open, wrap it tightly in plastic wrap, which will prevent it from oxidizing and turning brown. Everyone has saran wrap. It's something you can do with something you already have. Next up is flour. Most people store flour just by leaving it in the paper bag it comes in, in the cabinet or pantry. But if it's white flour, Lauren says it should be removed from the bag and put in an airtight container, which should then be stored in a cool, dry place. And if it's whole wheat or a nut flour, you're actually supposed to store it in the fridge or the freezer. If you're a fan of natural nut butters, this next tip is for you. So most people will store natural peanut butter or any nut butter right side up with the oil on top. But it's actually supposed to be stored upside down and in the refrigerator so that it stays blended and lasts longer. The fifth item you're storing wrong? Take your yoga mat out of the trunk of your car. The change in temperature actually makes the mat break down. So the best place to store your yoga mat is in a cool, dry place, maybe like a hall closet and always right by your keys because then it just makes it easy to grab and go. And when it comes to medication, most of us keep it in the medicine cabinet. But that's not the place to store it. It should be stored away from any moisture, so maybe like a kitchen cabinet to make it last to its full potential. Last but not least is perfume. Believe it or not, if you want to make it last longer, the ideal place to keep it is in your refrigerator. Because it prevents it from going bad. And a way to know perfume is going bad is if the color of it starts to change. Making the most out of your favorite items.